Hey, I'm about to start the installer. I am running this off of a DVD, so it's a little bit slower than a USB thumb drive. Okay. I'm going to choose English. go with the New York time zone. Um, test out the keyboard. Seems to work. Okay. So I'm going to delete that, delete that, apply it. Oh, first I need the unallocated space here. I'm going to create a new one. Uh, I just want it to be 76,000 megabytes. EXT4. The rest of this, I'm just going to make a swap space. Add it, apply it. There goes all my data. The hard work I put into my other operating system. But maybe one day I can get Linux Mint Debian working here. I'm going to wait for this to set up my hard drive. Close. And now you can see my SDA3 right there is kind of blurry, I'm sorry. That's where I'm installing this. So let me close out of Gparted. I'm going to come down here. I'm doing this on my phone, by the way. Um, wait, I'm going to do a refresh. It's like it quit shaking. I'm going to tell it to mount as a root format. Okay. I'm going to tell this to use this as swap. And I'm going you know, to format it too as well, just because. Good practice. Alright, let's see. Password and we'll do forward. Now this is where it asks ask me to install the grub. Let's see, I only have one option. SDA. Well, that's not what I need to do. I need to put it on SDA3. So if I do install grub right now, it's gonna try to install it to my master boot record which is not good for the system that I have so um, I need to say nope don't do that and click forward and I review over all my stuff let me see if I can hold the camera a little bit sturdier Let's see SDA3 it's hard to see and uh, that's where I need to put my LMDE and that's also where I need to put my uh, grub loader, which I so far can't do in this install. So I'm going to go ahead and install it. And I'm going to let this run. And then I will uh, post on the forum and show you some screenshots, I guess, of what 
what it does when I boot up. Uh, but I wanted to make this video to show you why I can't install this. And hopefully in some of the next releases of this that it'll be added so that I can install on a different partition other than the root so that I can use a dual boot environment. So thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, it excellent work by the way because I've installed it uh, on a desktop already and it does work. So I'm not trying to be negative about the operating system at all. I just would love to have it where I can dual boot it uh, and do it through the installer instead of having to try to find another way to set up grow outside of the installer. So thanks for your time. I appreciate it.